Hey my friends, in this video we are talking about how to mix and master vocals for beginner in FS Studio, okay? And uh, this is the part 2 of the video because the part 1, we already mixed this vocal right here. Only with stock plugin guys, we already mixed this vocal and we I did a good job from the comments in the section. Everybody was just saying that continue, 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 right? So this video now we are going to be adding reverb to the vocals because we left the vocals dry okay so if you haven't watched that video please the link will appear somewhere at the top of the screen you should uh, go check it out right so now let's add our reverb and delay but first let's listen to where we left off so this the big four girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared to tell you i felt about you benandara after girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared to tell you i felt about you benandara yeah the vocals were really booming you might think the vocals are the one thing guys some of you were commenting in the comment section that uh, the vocals are thin ah to you the vocals my same thing but what i know is normally the way you will hear your vocals right the way you hear for, maybe when you are using vocals for broadcast yes they are going to sound very very different with when you are going to put them in the mix remember you have other things in the mix right you have to shape do, those vocals you have to shape them nicely to fit them in the mix not to steam not to make them thin the way you are saying it but let's listen with the beat so you get the vibe girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared to tell you i felt about you been under view girl i'm a pretty tool you hear then without the the plugins girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared too you hear they are just covering everywhere you ho, 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 ho. so obvious girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared too and then girl when i fell in love with you girl i was so scared too you hear that they fit a little bit more better you get so let's go ahead and add our reverb guys i've decided to be like teaching like doing a lot of like comparison for you guys to really hear you get so if you are the person who just want to hurry and get to stuff you can skip the video a little bit further yes i don't want to i want to really be teaching stuff with my heart you get so let's add effects to our vocals and spice them up okay so uh, there are several ways you can do this but we are going to use send we are going to be using them through send right just so we have more controls over the reverbs and our delay you get you don't just want to put them on here but you can put them out there's no problem right so let's just create a send right here so to do that it's pretty easy right just come here you click right automatically this is our send track now we will come in here we can name this let's name delay <laughs> spell it somehow and then just give it a color and uh, that's it now let's just load this delay in our upper studio yes now a couple of uh things to do with this delay you get now when you have a delay like this now this is our time this is our drive first thing first take off the dry right because the dry is this signal coming from our vocals it's our vocal signal right we want only the delay because we are using send track so we just need only the delay we don't need the our normal dry vocal you get so now when we take off because okay for instance when the dry is on sorry the vocals will be sounding double so when we take this off now so you are going to hear only the repeat right so now the next thing to do after this you see this time right here yes this time right here if you look on the mirror on the left right here where they said uh in panel you will see the time said three but for delays either i come to two or i go to four you get or even eight you don't want three six you don't want those types of numbers right for your vocals guys but uh, you can do them if you want just to try other things right you might come up with something banging right so let's try four first you hear now it keeps repeating like yeah it keeps repeating which will make your track messy now when it's repeating like this you just need to come here to where they say vol this vol there right here which is volume is uh, the amount of feedback it's the feedback right how many times you want your re your delay to repeat right so 
let's reduce it because this vocal this artist is kind of singing with no space right so we don't want it to repeat too much so you see when i stop it it will end right so now that we have it this way we can go ahead and try other settings here we, you see we have some normal invert and ping pong yeah i would like to put it on ping pong i would like it to be a little bit on the side right it should not be in the center with the lead vocal you get so when i put it on ping pong it is still playing in the middle so you will need now to touch this pan you can touch it a little bit let's just shift our rev our delay a little bit off from the lead vocal yeah, you can do it too much and then send it right 100%. Like, yeah, you can do that. But I just want to shift it a little bit off the side. Yeah, but it's too loud. Don't bother about that. We are going to take care. This is where we are going to be using. This is our knob. We are going to be using this to take care of that, right? But I just want it to be loud so that uh, I really get what I'm looking for, right? So now that we are hearing this delay, the way it is sounding, right? Uh, the delay is sounding exactly like the lead vocal. We want to change it a little bit and make it feel different a little bit, right? So to do that, we can shape the top end this is where you can cut here they say cut right hey 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 you know you can't be watching without liking without subscribing without commenting nah guys please do something do something for your guy huh let's dive back into the video we can shape the top end a little bit of the delay and make it uh, a little bit zima or darker sorry any word i can use darker Right, so let's listen. Change a little bit, right? So, what can we do again to really change? We can come here and add this plugin called Flangers and just make the delay sound a little bit different. There are a couple of ways you can actually, a couple of things you can do. So, let's listen. Yeah, it's sounding a little bit different. And then now that we have our flangers, you can add different plugins, even a saturator plugin. You can just change different different plugins just to make the way your vocals are playing, the, the, the delay is playing to be a little bit different from the original vocal. That way you will have contrast. Your, your track will be spicy, right? So we can go ahead and add an EQ. Cut off some of the lows. All right? Let's go ahead and shape the lows a little bit. Stay right there. We are going somewhere, okay? Let's shape it a little bit. Now that we have it like this. Now, if you hear when it is playing, right? Even if we reduce the volume from here, the delay is still stepping on the vocal. So what we can do now is to add a, a side chain compression. Now stay there. It is very easy to do. Okay. Now we will just go into limiter. Now with our limiter, this is very, very simple. You get. So you just hit this com button. You are seeing right here, right? When you hit com button, now you come here to where they say side chain. Now you click and choose Vox. This is our Vox, so that's what you are going to choose, okay? And then in here, this is our threshold. You just have few knobs to play with. You don't. You are not going to play with everything you are seeing here. Right? You are just going to take this down, right? And then adjust your threshold. That's it. Adjust your ratio, uh, your knee as well. That's it. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. Been under the view, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. You hear you now. You hear the delay will be playing underneath the vocal a little bit. Then immediately the vocals will stop. You will hear the delay come loose. You, 
Lose you get so listen to me. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. Been under a view, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. You hear, yeah, you just hear lose you. So that is the that is our aim for us to feel a little bit of the the empty spaces in the vocal. So now we can actually reduce now the amount we have because we just want a little bit, right? Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. Been under a view, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. Been under a view, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. That's it. Now, without the beat. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. Been under a view. Girl, I'm afraid to lose you. You hear that, right? So now let's go ahead and add our reverb. And to do that, we follow the same process and add and create a, a send right here. Go there and write our reverb. Now, give it a color, same thing. Now let's load our param or is it parametric uh, fruity reverb two in here. Now that we have our fruity reverb too, when you just load this and you play, girl, when I fell, yeah, the reverb is going to be very, very obvious. Let me put this on the dash mode. The reverb is going to be very, very obvious, right? You have a couple of things to do right here. Remember, on the delay, we reduce the dry, right? So here is the weight. We are going to add back the weight. Yes, we are going to put the weight to 100%. Remember, like I, the same explanation I did to the delay, the same thing will appear here, right at this point, right? So now we increase the weight, which means if you want to reduce, we can now use this knob now to reduce, okay? Okay, with that being said, and this is a time-based effect as well. You can uh, calculate this uh, decay right here there are a couple of ways to calculate you can even go on uh, google and type uh, reverb calculator on google right the first link you see there just click you just write your bpm in very simple you just write your bpm in and tap uh, you just see the decay and the, delay, the pre delay time but for this track i already calculated it and now i don't have internet to actually show you what i'm talking about so sorry about that so this is a 102 uh, this track is 102 so it's a 2.3 2.4 uh, my decay time is 2.4 which i will set now and then the pre-delay is 36 okay now the next thing you are going to do which you will do too i'm doing now i want to cut the highs anyways let me be playing so we here and then we make the decision right yeah you hear the reverb the reverb is kind of yeah big but i want it to open some more right yeah we'll make our vocals to be like big right so yeah where they say size you add it if i reduce it yes if i add it this is what we want big huge now with that being said and if you listen to it now we have some bass in there so now we want to reduce some of the low end low cut right let's cut it up but if you cut it too high your reverb will sound too bright right you don't want that so we are going to cut it down a little bit to around 600. Hear that? Yeah. Now we are going. So this is the top end. We might want to cut the top end as well if you want your reverb to be dark, right? This is the high cut. Girl, I'm afraid to lose you. This actually feels good, too. Yeah, actually feels good. I guess we are going to 
leave it like that. Let me say it, it will be like this. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell. Yeah, the reverb is right behind there, so I think we like I like this like this. So let's go ahead now and reduce the volume, right? So if you want your reverb to be a little bit darker, you can use the damping, right? The damping right here. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I bet about you, but none that I have you. You hear that, right? Yes, like me, I like dark river, dark. I want my track to feel. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I bet about you, but none that I. So now that we have that, we can go ahead now and reduce our reverb to this. Girl, when I fell in love with you. Please, if you are watching and you are not liking the video, please hit that like button. Please comment. Please uh, let me know your mind in the comment section. Let me know if you like videos that are real well, like really explain the way I'm doing. If I'm only I'm doing it the way you want. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you, but none that I. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you, but none. You don't want it too much. You don't want it to disturb everywhere, right? Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you. So before and after everything we've just done. So before. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. After. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. But none that I have you, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. You hear that? So we can say I did some more, but you don't actually want your reverb to be disturbing. So we can now carry what we the side chain and add it to our reverb. Okay. Girl, when I fell. Yeah, we can then add it a little bit. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. But none that I have you, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. You don't want it too much, so you can add it the way you want. You can just bump it up and then. Girl, when I fell in love with you, girl, I was so scared to tell you I felt about you. But none that I have you, girl, I'm afraid to lose you. Girl. Yeah, especially for the fact that we have uh, side chain it, so you can now add it some more if you want it right so that is that so thank you for watching and stay blessed guys